What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. <laughs> What's up? We got a guest today. We love having guests. I <laughs> love having guests. And let me... I let me so excited. Let me just say this. So, like, we have had... Like, I think that's our thing. Like, mm-hmm. the girl rappers. Like, every time we have a rapper on the show, it always be, like, a good episode. Mm-hmm. And I love you, down because it's the bad bitch lyrics for yeah. me. Period. It's a bad bitch. And when I say beautiful in person, toxic chocolate, period. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, introduce yourself. Let the world know who you are. Mm-hmm. I miss toxic chocolate and Miss Kelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so, if y'all don't know who, if you living under a rock. Right. Kelly had the song, mm-hmm. And it just went crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I know, look, this ain't no interview, y'all know, but y'all know I get excited because I love the music. I love the music, girls. How did that song come about? And like, did you know it was going to go crazy like it did? Oh, I didn't. I was in Miami and uh, I was with my producer, ATL Jacob. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be outside. You know, people who go outside in Miami, they want to be on the, the yacht with, you know, mm-hmm. with your girls. And he just wanted to be in the studio, and it just wasn't giving it for me. So I just kept saying, like, mm-mm, all day. <laughs> and so he was like, we going in the studio. We finna go record. You need mm-hmm. some more songs. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting there. He making a beat from scratch. He doing his thing. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't think of nothing. I just kept saying, mm-hmm. <laughs> really? And so I was like, wait a minute. I ain't heard nobody say that Yeah. on a song. Right, right. So what I'm, you do people get that? I kept asking, I say, you get what I'm saying when I say, mm-mm? Mm-hmm. He like, yeah. I was like, okay, so what people be saying, mm-mm, too? And then I just started, he was like, just get in the booth. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, well, it's a vibe. It is a vibe, and it's relatable, because I feel like that's how we are when we on the phone. We be like, mm-mm. Right, exactly. <laughs> we don't definitely know what to say, but relate. it's, right. Definitely, no, definitely. No, it just ain't enough, like. Yeah. You mm-hmm. gotta put the emphasis on right. it. Right. Mm-hmm. So, first, before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to my homegirl, Amina. She actually got us these journals. Um, Bitch, you're doing a good job. I feel like it's important to journal. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I love writing down everything. Sometimes you need to start writing down your days. And also, just for memories, I feel like, especially being women in the uh, entertainment industry, like, a lot of times we're hard on ourselves and we don't feel like we're doing good enough. Right. So if you write down what you did today, when you look back on the next year, you'd be like, wow, look where I'm at now versus mm-hmm. last year. So y'all can find these books if you go to Amazon and literally type, bitch, you're doing a good job journal. Uh, she has a whole Amazon store. Just type in Amina. It'll pop up. So yeah, get y'all journals. Thank you, Amina, for the book. I appreciate yes, thank that. You I can't wait to use it. Yes, so let's get into some little some tea and some talk real quick. But besides that, like, what y'all been up to? Like, what's been, what's tea? What's up? Well, girl, we just had a show. Lit. At home. Super fucking lit. This past weekend. Love it. At House of Blues. It was yes. Lit. Super good time. What you been up to, girl? Um, any vacations? Any man? Well, my birthday coming up. Okay. okay so, I've been trying to, thank you. Look, how old you turning? Because you know auntie old. <laughs> hey, me too. I'm turning 22. Oh, oh yeah. You are What? I'm I, grown. I'm so well, you, right. you know what I mean. I know, I know, I know. So you're a Leo. Yeah. I'm a Leo too, girl. Yeah. Yes. 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 So when is your birthday? July 29th. Okay, okay. okay. I'm August 17th. Okay. okay. What are you doing for your birthday? I think I'm going to have a lingerie party. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. So I've been trying to come up with the, the little... Themes and quotes, I'm going to say, like, clothes on, stay home. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, auntie exactly. going to come. You know, yeah. auntie like the party. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave auntie at home. You was not auntie. <laughs> Love the party. <laughs> Me too. But. Okay, so before we get into these topics today, y'all, I'll have to ask y'all a question because... I just seen somebody say this, and mm-hmm. I know we've talked about this on the show before, but I just had to ask y'all, just from a women's point of view. Okay. So, somebody said, like, dating is crazy, like, mm-hmm. especially when you're single, because you can be talking to somebody, mm-hmm. and then that person is dealing with somebody else, too, because we're dating, we're trying to figure it out. You could be talking to somebody else, and then all of a sudden, you wake up one morning, and your person could be in a relationship with their other person, because something just shifted in their relationship, right. and now you lost your person, because they a relationship and it's like you can't be mad because it just is what it is yeah. so but at the same time you know everybody always feels like oh when I meet you you need to drop all y'all hoes so do y'all feel like when y'all get in a relationship do you give somebody a little grace period to like drop their hoes or do you expect them to just drop them like as I was soon gonna as- say like 
it, it sounds good, like, if the people is telling you to, like, okay, we dating, but I'm also talking to other people. Like, right. usually... The, it don't go down like that. Yeah, um, usually it's, oh, uh, I don't got no hoes, I don't got the desire. So <laughs> right. then you got the idea, like, oh, this nigga in a relationship. Like, right, right. I ain't even know. I, ain't know. Even <laughs> know. I, I feel like, hell no, nah, you ain't getting no motherfucking great spirit. Exactly. Yeah, because, it's true. That day, because if you asking me to be in a relationship with you, I'm assuming you ready to drop and, your hoes. No, that they're grown already. You made that executive decision with yourself. Right. That you're ready to be in a relationship with me. You know that that means them hoes gotta go. Right. Exactly. So, so why am I giving you a so great the day after the day after a hoe calling your phone or you somewhere doing something you ain't supposed to Mm-mm. that's shit <laughs> that's the name of the episode <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna work lie. I feel like I need a little grace period then you not you ready for me one. I, th- I need one if he needs one it's cool like I just it's hard for me to just like ghost somebody and be like hey I got a nigga now like I'm good but is dating not the grace period yeah I mean it kinda is Until but I, I, if he ask you to be in a relationship with you when you make that answer yo yes Yes. That means yeah. it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a problem to ghost them people. I mean, okay, it's not a problem, but I don't know because sometimes in a relationship we just it's so new, so we don't know if we're gonna be together in two three months. So what if I yeah, let go you of gotta my be home? Taking that risk though. I, I'm um, not a risk taker. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna need to be single, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Need a little grace. It ain't no problem, but like I said, I don't know. I I am. Just keep your grace period to yourself. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Yeah. I will don't say, have no conversation about it. I have. Yeah. I do drop people. I do, but I kind of got to do things on my own time. Like, yeah. and also. I mean, I don't. I've never dealt with somebody that was like, "Oh, you need to stop fucking with all these niggas and stuff." I've never been with somebody like that. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I do do it. I just need to do it on my own time. Like, don't rush me. I'm faithful, nigga. Damn, oh, Annie. But no, you but don't. you're not faithful though. Yes, I mean. No, she's not. She's not faithful. That's not faithful. You talking about your great period? You're not faithful. already. Ooh, I gotta work like, because you know I just gotta start doing little things and kind of like you know back my. I gotta wean them off of me. But I guess that's good that you said though. You don't put no pressure on them. Either. Yeah, I don't. Because I feel like some people be like that. Like, they like, oh, well, you got to cut all your hoes off, but I'm still going to keep my Yeah, house. hold on, come here, you go. Um, thank you. Yeah, I don't, the reason I don't trip about it is just because, like I said, I get it, and we're all humans. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I feel like this. Y'all know, like I say this all the time, auntie old, I'm about to be 33. Mm-hmm. I'm not old. really, but I'm. what I'm saying is I'm not really into playing games anymore. So whoever I'm in a relationship at this age, bitch, we in this forever. Yeah. So I I'm, I got 50 plus years I'm planning with you. So if you need three, four months to cut somebody off, that's cool mm-hmm. because you're going to be mine for the rest of my life. That's I guess that's how I look at it. I more so feel like because I'm getting older, like because I'm 31 now, like, no, you need to know what you want. Right. I don't got time See, to play because I'm getting older. Why you don't right. know? Yeah. I mean, I feel like they know, but I don't no. know. Like, I'm not giving you no grace period. Either you want to be with me or you don't. Y'all street. Yeah. <laughs> and is, that's it. You're not going to play with me because mm-hmm. then in three, four months, he don't cut them off and they done start building some more. Now you looking crazy. Well, no, I'll say this when I say give him time to cut them exactly. off. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that I still want him like dating that person, but like if that person hit their phone, like on, on some what's up, how was your day? Like, I'm not gonna trip on that. Oh, no. Nah. Like, I don't want them like hanging mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's why he care about her day. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm saying if she's hitting hey. him up, <laughs> I'm not saying he's hitting her up. I'm saying if she's hitting him up, like, yeah, oh, what's up? I mean, I don't know. I guess that stuff just don't bother me. Okay, and that's fine. If she hitting you up, then you don't have no control over it. Right, right. You don't answer. But why you responding? Yeah. You know what? I'm trying to I ask you how your, really. I, I ask you how your day is every day. So why, when she asks you, right, you right. need to answer. Mm-hmm. I'm all for not grace periods. I guess I. they're not. Let me know. Do y'all like a little grace period or not? Maybe I'm dating tripping. Dating is the grace period yeah. to me. Like, like, I feel like it's dating. Okay, there's dating and there's talking. Right. Talking is when you create the boundaries. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not going to play with me. We're, we're slowly becoming into a relationship. Building up dating is, yeah, we dating other people. We know what it right, is. But right. when y'all get to that talking stage and it's a, like, y'all know, like, this what's up. Right. Now you start, them games gonna have to come to a, a slow end. That's right. the grace period. So the talking stage, that's yeah. when you need to start yeah. putting them out. Right, right. right. Okay. Yeah. But I think for me, it was also like, I had to have a conversation. Like, all right, we locked in now. Because mm-hmm. I literally tell people, like, okay, now the grace period is over now. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it's not like I'm just moving how I want to move still and being... I'm like, all right, it's been X amount of time. Like, we're locked in. It's mm-hmm. us. 
You know, but like I said. before the relationship? No, this is like in the relationship. <laughs> so you waiting until you get in the relationship? How did that come to happen right before you asked me that no, question? like, I just feel like once we get in a relationship, like, we know that we're locked in. So whatever you did, I don't care if you was with another bitch yesterday. We're in a relationship right now. And we're locked in. Like, we're locked in. I was with another bitch yesterday. Shit happens. Yeah, like... Because I was with another nigga last night. So you I could have went to that. breakfast with a nigga, but by lunchtime, if you ask me to be your girlfriend, let's do it. Mm -mm. But I still <laughs> gotta... You know, we gotta clean it up. I just think... It's hard out here. It's hard out here. I just try to be realistic about people and... You know, because like I said, I feel like we have the rest of our lives. I'm not tripping on little shit, but like, once we have that conversation that we're locked in, there is no, oh, it's okay. But I know sometimes shit happens. Like, I can't control it if my ex is texting my phone. Like, what am I supposed to do? You know not what I'm saying? Answer. No, and I would never get mad well, at Well, I sometimes like I want to see what he wants, girl. <laughs> yeah. I want to see what he wants, girl. <laughs> I wouldn't get mad, though, if I seen a girl texting my nigga phone. It's about how you respond. Right, exactly. right, right. Yeah, I, I can, can agree, agree with that. It's not about her. I can't yeah. get mad at her. Right, right. I agree with that. I, I just had to get some tea. I, but I, he needs to have a respect for me if we exactly. gonna be in a right. relationship. Because if we talking... We dating. I don't be really giving a fuck about nothing because it's not shit. Ain't gotta be strict because we're not together. Right, right. right. But, but when we in a relationship, be shit strict. strict. <laughs> yeah, because it, because it's just expected for me not to answer. Because best believe if I was texting your phone, mm -hmm. they texted mine. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want me to respond. You don't need to run. Okay, I can feel that. I can feel that. Who can play them games? That was low key my poor your heart. I had a question. Better. Right. Sex. You don't want to play that tit for tat with me because she uh, can get what? ugly. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Sleep back. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to act funny, bitch, we gonna clown in this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And the For Rich or Poor Tour is coming to Birmingham at the Lyric Theater on August 6th. Yes, it's about to be so lit, and the door is going to open at 7 p.m. I can't wait to see all y'all. Y'all need to make sure y'all get y'all tickets, because they selling out super fast. Super fast. And y'all know we love us a small town, because we really going to get down. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all get y'all tickets at www.poorminds.com. And like Dre said, the tickets is going fast, y'all. And I know they've seen the clips. Because we've kicked off this tour with a bang, girl. Yeah, the clip has been lit. Y'all see what's going on? Yeah, so make sure y'all get y'all tickets. And we'll see y'all August 6th. We outside. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we are bringing the For Rich or For Poor tour to Columbia, South Carolina on August 5th at the Senate. Yes, and you know doors gonna open early. And make sure that y'all put that ish on. Yes, because y'all know we came dressed to impress. I know y'all seen the clips from the other shows. We outside. Yeah, stop playing. Make sure you get your tickets right now at poorminds.com because they selling out so fast. Yes. And we don't want to hear y'all complaining because, you know, the tickets is gone. They tickets so make sure you come in. Period. And we'll see y'all August 5th. We outside. All right, so we're going to get into these topics. That wasn't even the topic, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Dre. Go ahead. Okay, so for the first topic, I actually seen this tweet. I think on, I either seen it on Twitter or I seen it on Instagram. But mm -hmm. it said, women be weak in the knees for men. It's okay to move on. Mm. I feel like that's 100% true. I don't, I don't understand why people be so afraid to move on from people that no longer serve a purpose in their life. Right. Um, I think for me though, this is this is because I can relate. Mm -hmm. Cause I, be, I feel like you're like you 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 be trying to hold on to your niggas. That's why we was just <laughs> talking about that shit. Well, you see me rubbing my cross. <laughs> you know what it is though, because it's one it's one nigga in particular mm -hmm. that I'm real. I'm still I'm my man, my man, mm -hmm. my man. <laughs> because you know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yes, it's okay to move on. I'm not gonna lie. Am I weak in the knees for that nigga? Yes, I am. I'm mm -hmm. not. There is nothing. I am not leaving this nigga alone. I don't care. Like you ain't coming up off I'm off not though. coming up off this nigga yeah. ever. I'm just not. But the reason is, yes, it's okay to move on. Have I moved on in the past? Yes. I'll go fuck with other niggas. He go fuck with other niggas. But I'm still coming home. Like I'm coming. When he say jump, bitch, I'll hide, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm motherfucking high, yeah. nigga. We Woo! can get the poles yeah, off this bitch. Yo, like for real. Oh, real? I'm telling you. Yeah. And the reason is. Is I'm weak in the knee. It's okay to move on, yeah, but it's a lot of fish in the sea, bitch. I want that fish. Mm. No, I feel you. I feel like I've been, I've been weak in the knees before. Mm -hmm. and it's okay. Mm -hmm. We all have. Yeah. But I'm. See, I can, I can move on. I move on fast. Like if I get a relationship, I don't. I'm the type to stay until I'm really like I can't message you no more. Like right. I, I hate you. Like 
I don't know. So yeah. then when I move on, it's like, I don't want nothing to do with you. I can't mm-hmm. double back. Like, I'm out of that. You know right. what I mean? That's how I am, too, for real. Like, I'm, what, during a relationship, you done did something to me, I might see if I could work it out or whatever it is. But if my heart's really like, mm-mm, yeah. like, you, was, you did too much shit. I just slowly just pulling away. That way, yeah. when I yeah. when I end that bit, I'm outside. Right. Yeah. Right. It's like when I'm riding with you, I'm riding with you. Exactly. But once I decide that I'm moving on, yeah, nigga, you never gonna see me again. Right. You're yeah. very much like that. You and my best friend Lauren. But are if like I that. but if I'm fucking with you, I might stay with you for some years. I might fuck with you for exactly. some years. But when I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. And whatever you say about how it ended or whatever, you just keep that. Right. That's on you. Mm-hmm. Cause I rolled. But I do, rolled do y'all down. believe? Do y'all believe in like soul ties though? Like, do y'all believe? And like soulmates yeah. and things like yeah. that. Yeah, and I be- sure. and I'm a believer too that like romantic relationships is not the only time that you can have soulmates. Oh, hundred exactly. like percent. Yeah, yeah. Too, you know what I mean. So I feel like exactly. you can have multiple soulmates in your lifetime, but just because you and a person have a connection, don't mean that y'all because it's to different type of bonding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's different type of bonding. I just learned yesterday. Uh, my manager just told me, like, there's such thing as trauma bonding. And oh, yeah. Facts. Like, mm-hmm. like, you may think that that's love, and, you know, that they, they showing you they crazy about you they love, but no, it's it's not it's a, that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a trauma thing. Like, I feel like that's what how me and Throwback Bay were. Yeah. Like, it was like, we were just going through hard times, and we were just like... And it was just so much, so yeah. quick. And then, look, I looked up, it was two years later. My bad. My yeah, bad, bro. Yeah, and I feel like, like the longer... <laughs> she get carried away. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, I feel like the longer you stay in those situations, too, it just make it even harder to break the time. Yes, exactly. it is. It really is. I feel like I'm going through something like that now. For real? Like, it's like, yeah, that's why the trauma body came up. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, dang. And that's hard. I mean, because when you love people, it's hard to cut them but off. But not only that, that when the love is genuine break. too, like you're just a genuine person, and you really truly love people for who they are, mm-hmm. and you understand people make mistakes. Right. It'd be so hard because it's like, dang, everybody not perfect. I'm not perfect. Yeah. So. But I think also it's hard sometimes when you're wrapped up in somebody. It's hard to recognize the difference between you like being in lust, mm. being in love. And having love for somebody. Because you can have love for somebody and not be in love with them. Right. But we all sometimes get all that shit misconstrued and you don't even yeah. know what it is. I feel like you I'm know? good at, at, you know, recognizing when that's that. I'm not. Because I be on the first day, I'm like, this is my man, my man, I my get bored man. fast. Now, yeah, let's fall in love, right? Oh, I love, I, but you know I what? I do too, but I get bored just as fast as I yeah. feel. So it just be like, Nah, I thought I was. Yeah, I but... be loving niggas too, and then like two weeks later, let's be like, what happened to you? <laughs> Every time. Ooh, but you know what ooh. I've noticed? <laughs> I Bitch, where? I always thought it was me being in love, and it's it's lust. Yeah. I don't be in love with these niggas. I can honestly say I have been in love mm-hmm. twice in my life. Mm-hmm. Like. I have been, I can honestly say, like, it was, like, something, like, different. Mm -hmm. And now I'm recognizing the difference between lust, having love for somebody, and being in love. Like, I can honestly say I've been in love twice. So things just be a little different, but I think we have to recognize that. Because, you know, when you on the first date, the wine flowing, he done bought the bottles, he bought the salmon. Y'all know I love me a good salmon, bitch. (laughs) Oh, my God. So he ordering the salmon, girl. He want, like, you know, you be like, oh, my God, this man is perfect. everything right right now. He doing everything right, but you don't realize you may not even love that person. You just may lo- love how he treats you. Right. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, you don't even love that person. You just love how they are over you. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves to be admired, especially us being Leos. Exactly. We love being adored. What? Like, that's and the that's way... my moon sign. Yes. So like, my moon is a cancer. For real. You know they say that your moon sign is more of, like, how who you are, mm-hmm. for real. Your emotions, mm-hmm. how you handle your emotions and handle yep. people. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah I, I definitely know. feel like I... I keep people in my life sometimes longer than they're supposed to be because it's it's more of a comfort thing for me. That's what I was about to say. That's for me. It's a comfort yeah. thing because honestly, I know it's okay to move on, but we were just talking about this this morning. I'm not as social as people think I am. So is it like is it when you say comfort comfortability? Do you mean like a fear that you can't find better people? Oh no, or you can't be by yourself. Gonna find or you something. can't. Yeah, or you won't be able to find, like, nobody to replace that person. I don't I know. I think it's a, you got to, I see, my mom just, she real smart. Like, she really gives mm-hmm. me great advice. Like, she's like, you have to really love, fall in love with being by yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be able to, you know, just recognize when something is, like, you're right. in love or something is yeah. just you being loving what they're doing for you. You know, right. take yourself on dates. Treat yourself. Right. Just be by yourself yeah. and do the, do the stuff that you really, really like. That way, when somebody is doing it for you, you know, like, 
oh, I do this for myself. Like, do I really normal. like you? Right. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. this is real, real life normal mm -hmm. for me. You and know? I'm not gonna lie, with me too, this is a bad, bad habit that I have. Sometimes I just be doing shit out of boredom. <laughs> I, I be texting niggas out of straight boredom. I don't even like... It was a nigga. I don't even like this nigga. And I was just texting him. <laughs> I don't even like if you, if you walk by me right now. Sorry to this man. I don't know you. you like I'm uh, yeah. Like I just I be bored and I be sometimes I give. But you'll be niggas bored. a false sense of hope. You'll be bored, but you'll be giving energy to the people that you care about. Like you you have feelings for these niggas. It would be different if you was just doing shit out of boredom and he was like, okay, I'm having fun with this nigga. Goodbye. You know no, what I'm saying? Okay, but you're talking about, I know what situation you're talking about. I'm talking about, I can't say because it's everybody. Yeah, I'm I'm talk, but I'm say. talking about somebody like, you know, I never liked this nigga. And it was just like. But you just like, look, I you know, can't be. I know, I, I never fucked like, him. Like, yeah. I just be like. Because if I don't like you, it would be You're going to see it all in my mm -hmm. face and yeah. my attitude. I, I, I think I tried that and somebody told me I was mean. I'm like, I'm the farthest from a mean. You People just think I'm mean irritating. Mm -hmm. Just irritating, like. I don't know. When mm -hmm. I don't like you, you're going to see it on my face. I can't hide it. The yep. way I talk yeah. and my attitude, it's like, give me this. I want this. Okay, we done. Bye. I don't know if y'all saw this post the other day. It had said this girl was like, yeah, I, I hate when a nigga that I don't like be trying to cuddle me. And somebody responded, this dude responded, he said, walk me through the thought process of how you ended up in the bed <laughs> with a nigga that because you, you ain't want to cuddle me. I'm not gonna lie though. That'd be some shit I'll yeah. do. Like I'll end up, like I'll tell like, you. Like yeah, I wouldn't it, even ended up at this nigga house. But Man, what I'm okay. saying is, for me, like it'll be niggas that I've been cool with, and I be flirting with them. I give them a false hope. It'd be some niggas that's known me for six years, ain't never got no pussy out of me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but if I haven't fucked you within the first four or five times we've hung out, I don't like you. Like, yeah. like you should know. Or maybe it's like you've been with somebody, and you know that ended or whatever. You mm -hmm. trying to go on a date. You trying to explore your options now. This one person treating you right, they taking you outside, and then y'all hanging out a couple times. Mm -hmm. Then it gets to the point where it's like, okay, let's try this whole sleepover. Yeah. You know, let's just try it. Let's yeah. do it. Oh then my you God. in the bed, you like, you like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe it's the moment that you realize, like, I don't like this. Oh, my God. That happened with me with the dude that bought me the Chanel. Mm -hmm. He tried to touch me. I said, mm-mm. <laughs> Let me grab my Chanel and go. Let me grab my Chanel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Toodles. But no, but that's really how it be sometimes. Yeah, and I babe, know that about me. That's do. a bad thought about myself. Sometimes I take shit a little too far just out of boredom. Like, yeah. I remember the guy I was dating, Dre, was like, bro, you don't like him. Why are you doing this? I and was he like, was like, I do. <laughs> that you dated and you really like that nigga. Right. So when you be dating other dudes, it be like, I mean, he cold, but yeah. you know deep down inside, you don't really fuck with him like Bro, that. Bro, I knew I really didn't like all these niggas and stuff that I was doing because, like, when a certain nigga came back, I was like, all right, we had fun. Yeah. It's time to go home. Like I don't let niggas take me out of my element. I don't let people take me out of character. The one time I knew I really fucked with the niggas when I ran up on him. Oh, my baby, I knew what time it club, was. In front of, like, mad people yeah. that was spazzing on him. I'm like, you won't even do stuff like this. That's how I know I like somebody, too. I think I, I done, um, like, popped up at the house, like, really, oh, like, kick, kicking in the door. Mm -hmm. like, not kick, kick down your door and smack your chick. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm wrong, but I want to see what's up. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. I am weak. Especially if the, if the guy giving me that energy, too. Like, where he like, what's up? What you want? Oh, twins. Well, that's what we do. I'm one of them people. If you ain't like answering, and that me, you want me to pull up. Exactly. Because why you not answering? Why you want to see me? <laughs> I'm a Taurus. Okay. But yeah. my moon sign Leo. Okay. My, my rising is a Leo. Too. And my rising is Libra. I my am best friend is a Libra. Ooh, See me, I'm see. not... I'm not like if I pull up on you, I'm not knocking on the door. I might hide in the bushes. Mm. I'm a hide in the bushes type of girl. <laughs> I'm hiding in the bushes and do But what? why are you hiding? Right. Nigga, I want you to know I'm outside. Yeah, I just see? wanna see I really wanna see what's going on because if I go to your door, I feel like that gives you a chance to lie, mm. to say whatever. I wanna hide in the bushes. I've hidden the bushes before. I'm not gonna lie. I've done but it. But then what did you do? Um I nothing was going you on. You ran? No, I just went home and I went to sleep. <laughs> oh, hell no. And you never told him you was I in the left. I slept good because he wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> I slept very well that night. But, <laughs> but like, 
What was you going to do? No, because I wanted to do it. Because if I, I was going to like record and take pictures and I was going to send it to him. But you wasn't going to run up. You got a puppet oh. right then and there. Y'all know I'm scary. No. See. <laughs> well, clearly, bitch, you was hiding. Because <laughs> if I'm coming over and you're not doing not. nothing. <laughs> right. If I'm, you, if I'm coming over and you're not doing nothing, I want to stay. <laughs> I'm here to stay now, yes. I'm sorry you didn't plan on me to come over, but I'm here I'm now. Here now. <laughs> she said I want to stay. I'm staying. I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing going on. Right, and right. we can sleep peacefully. And then, I'm, and then if I see you, right. and then if I see you ain't doing shit, I'm going to be like, hey, boo, I wasn't was in the area. Yeah, exactly. I, I didn't know I would stop by. Exactly. The, the way it was, like, this nigga used to live in Buckhead, and I was on the east side. I'm not even going to stop and get some food. Be okay, like, I, I was outside in the food. club in Buckhead, because that's where all the, all the clubs and lounges mm-hmm. be and I just I'm so I just had to drive over here I, but you know what I feel like this is where I'm opposite at because y'all was like that's how y'all know y'all care about a nigga if mm-hmm. he lets you out of your element yeah. for me I know I care about somebody when I don't get out of my element and I'm really trying to be calm and talk to you mm-hmm. like when I pop off and I'm mad that's just because I don't give a fuck and you really got me fucked up and I'm gonna talk to you dirty yeah. I, can feel, I feel that too so I me like, when yeah. I care about you I'm gonna keep myself calm mm-hmm. and I'm gonna really try to communicate with you so we can work this out because I really want to talk to you yeah, yeah. When when I, I pop off, that, if I Ooh. pop off on you, I don't give a fuck about you, really. That's how I am. I don't like to treat people like that that I care about. Like, I think even with my friends, like, mm-hmm. you, I really, you can't name one time I really just went off on you. Like, I don't do that. I really mm-hmm. be trying to communicate because if I love you, let's talk this out. I, I don't want to get to no, that it point. It just depends on you. Yeah, talk about these on the show. yeah it be you, like, that be popping you gotta, off. Yeah, you got to... Uh, it's it's a certain like situation, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. It, it, it's some moments where you, okay, let me, let's just calm down and let's just talk about it. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you initially had me effed up, it's. I'm sorry. Now, I'm not going to sit in here and say I never go off on people I love and care about. Like, I do do that. But, like, when it comes down to it, I'm trying to work it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to work it out. Let's work it I'm out. I'm going to work it out with her because she out and got your mom three seconds ago. That's me We too. still going to work it out. <laughs> where you thought she was going? I'm like, girl, fuck you. Then call you tomorrow. Like, hey, girl, what you doing? Like, hey. What? Me and Lex, like, honestly, but we've said this before on the show. Like, we wouldn't have been probably friends at this point if it was for me because I used to always get mad at her and cuss her out and be like, well, bitch, you time. ain't got to be my friend no more. And she would be like, girl, I'm going to call you tomorrow. <laughs> when I tell you that's just my personality That's my with best everything. friend. Yeah. She is so just yeah. like... She, I know she loves me, but it, when we be get arguing mm-hmm. and stuff, it be real like, and we just need a second to just separate. Mm-hmm. You know, she be like, I'm gonna just, yeah. I be like, actually, I'm gonna go. You work on that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna work <laughs> on this. And then we yeah. come back. It's like we never even like we locked in. We know we not gonna let nobody play with us. Period. Right. About our friendship but I know stuff. how Dre is. Like Dre and my mom had the same birthday. My mm-hmm. sister is a Taurus. Like I know how they are with their mouths. And their mouths are so bad. But I'd be like, all right, girl, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I used to do the same shit to my mom. My mom used yeah. to get, you Ooh. so ungrateful. I'd be like, all right, girl, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, my God. My and I call them all, hey, girl. Like, that's how our relationship was. So yes. when you start, like, when you be so like, mad at Dre, so many times. Would be like, girl. Dre be like, I'm cool you on you. Bye. I'm cool on you. <laughs> okay, girl. I'll see you for brunch. Right. My, mama, <laughs> my mama Libra, she real like, like, um, not emotional. My mama Libra, but, like, too. but she just like. It's not emotion. It's like, okay, well, how can we fix the situation? Right. It's real straight to the point. And mm-hmm. we, and like, I'm one that's like real, I'm like, I had real bad anger issues before. Mm-hmm. So I just be like real, like, quiet, like, get out of my face. So mm-hmm. both of us trying to communicate. And that's it's how like, I was too. Yeah. She be wanting to talk. She used to always want to talk shit out. I used to be like, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> it's not going to be gonna a talk good outcome. Yeah. We going to talk. I am a talker. Thanks. I love the talking. Be it's like, the obvious Leo. Yes, it is. I am a talker. <laughs> like, I, like, no, mm-hmm. bitch. And I love you. Like, no, you're going to talk to me. I'm a quiet, like, storm. Mm, that's something. Um, right. So, women be weak in the... Are y'all okay with moving on? It's easy for y'all to move on, yes or no? Yeah, I mean, and I'm not even going to try to act like it's just always easy. Because I don't feel like it's always easy. But right. I feel like if I got to choose me over exactly. you, I'm going to choose me every time. Yeah. If you know, if it doesn't make sense no more, yeah. why am I here? Just because it's comfortable? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I agree. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not coming up off this nigga. I'm weak in the knees, bitch. Dumb, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, baby. Lord, I don't want to quit kind of. <laughs> he done laid down a dead ass. <laughs> I, I ain't never had no dick like I that. I my man. I, I ain't had it like 
said, I need that. I'm going to do that. Beating down the block, knocking pictures off my walls. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I was having flashbacks. All right. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we are here to talk to y'all about honey love. I feel like nowadays, people try to stay away from shapewear because they feel like, oh, my grandma wore a girdle, I don't need a girdle. But shapewear can make you look so polished, everything is smooth, and Honey Love has done a good job at constructing underwear that feels good. Yeah, period. We're all about comfort, and we all about being snatched. Mm -hmm. And Honey Love is as beautiful as your favorite lingerie, but it's also going to keep you squeezed in and tight. Yeah, but then squished. it's also comfortable, though. Yes, you don't yeah. feel like squished and squeezing we love Honey Love. Y'all be like, oh, Lex yeah. and Drea look so good because we got that Honey Love on, period. Yes, and it's no risk. They cover shipping and all of the restocking in the U.S., so you don't ever have to worry about that. And if you want to send it back, you can. Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to honeylove.com and you're going to get 20% off of your second item. Plus, whenever you use our code, Poor Minds will get an additional 10% off of your entire order. So make sure you go to honeylove.com and use code Poor Minds and get shopping, y'all. Get your shape right, especially when you come to the live shows. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This next topic, this is funny. I love. I see. That's why I told yeah. you. We always we love the we girls. Do. Okay. So the next topic we wanted to talk about is because I know we can all relate to this because mm. we get into the bag period. It's boss bitches. Okay. Period. Um. We always talk about BDBs. Go get you a BDB. A BDB is the big dick baller. That's something we talk about okay. on the show. BDB is a big dick baller. <laughs> we always say go get you a man that got money. Go get you a man that got ambition. Mm -hmm. You know, you're supposed to have somebody that is always doing better than you or more than you or can put you in a position to do very well. We love that. But we never talked about it on the flip side. Mm -hmm. Because everybody wants to talk about how women are gold diggers. But let's talk about it. Men be chasing after women with money, too. They do. Yeah. Men will do you so fucking wrong, and you move on. This is your ex. And then he see the glow up, and he's trying to come back and treat you right. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about how men be chasing after women with money, too. Let's talk about how niggas be big bro and niggas just because they got money. Like, mm. that men are... What? Men are Ooh, bigger box than women. my favorite subject right yeah. here. Men are bigger box than women. I don't care what nobody you says. You can literally... I literally... I don't know who I told this, but I watch it. Like, I see it almost every day. I be mm. outside, like, because that's my job. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I gotta be at the clubs and stuff. I walk in, like, it's another artist. He, he real popping. It's like... 16 females with them and like 16 men with them. The men, they try to rush to the front with yes. them. And I'm just like, y'all all standing up in the session smoking the hookah and stuff and got these females down here looking crazy. But it's like, who's who's really like, like right? When it comes down to the nitty gritty, the, your homeboy gonna do that the for niggas you? Niggas love to reach niggas more than we do. Yes, <laughs> they really do. Especially but be... when it's the homeboy. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god. But I mean, even it's with crazy. even with women, I feel like we can keep it honest, y'all know. I mean, I'm doing. We're doing well. Mm -hmm. The show is doing very well, yeah. and um, it's a blessing. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very humble. Like, I, I thank God every day that I'm here because we're all blessed. Right. I mean, right. we get to wake up. You get to wake up and make music every day. Do something that you love and you're passionate about. Not, feels, not yeah. a lot of people get this opportunity. But I will say, it's a lot of niggas that I dealt with in the past that didn't believe in me, that thought it was a joke when I said I wanted to move to Atlanta and I wanted to do something in media. They didn't see my vision. A lot mm -hmm. of people didn't understand my vision. But now you see the vision. Mm -hmm. I never asked you to really see it. I just needed your support. I just needed you to say, hey, Lex P., you know what? I don't get it, but fuck it. This is what we're doing. Let's roll with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so now seeing how those same men treat me now, mm. like, oh, man, I support. Man, I knew you was always funny. I Hell knew. Yeah. Did you? Did you? You are bopping. You are right. You're dick riding because yeah. you see what you see what the fuck going on. And you feel like, oh, Babe, maybe I can get her back. Yeah. yeah, you pussy licking. You real, you real pussy licking right yeah. now. Yeah, pussy, I'm gonna start saying that. Like nigga, that. you pussy licking right now. <laughs> yeah, you pussy licking, nigga. Like what? What is this that's energy? What they be doing, right. For real, I think we've all been in situations like that with me and like, yeah, because it was a lot of people who I feel like, like I've dated industry guys. I've dated guys that are in positions to, like, they could have helped us. Right. right. But they didn't. Exactly. And then now, you want to work together. Exactly. Mm. What? 
Mm-mm. Because we've shown what we could do on our own, which is cool, but it's like, you fucked with me, so you should have did that off of GP anyways. Right. Like, just because... Like, I got... It's, it's kind of similar, but it's not. Like, I had an ex, mm-hmm. and, like, we both... I was did my I was doing my own thing before I met him with my music stuff already, mm-hmm. and he was doing his own thing whatever we, whatever he had going on. Mm-hmm. We came together, and um, in the relationship it didn't really work out, and he it was mostly him doing mm-hmm. like the cheating and doing all that mm-hmm. stuff, and I still stayed or whatever. Then when I finally decided to leave, that's when I started blowing up. But let him tell it, I left him because I already t- I, he turned me up. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? That's how they love to tell yeah. the story. Like, let him tell it. It's, I left him. I, he cheated on me. He tried to work it out. But I left because I was turned up and I wanted to see what other... Because he put you on. Yeah, let him tell it. He he made me. Mm-hmm. So it's like... But what did Jay-Z say? Make another me. Then. That's it. What? <laughs> Let's do well, it. Let's talk about it, though. Let's do it again. Because you, you know did it. Make another one. Exactly. I think the thing about black women, too, is like, we are... It's to a fault. We are ride or die. Yeah. A nigga can be at his lowest, and we're gonna be there, exactly. and we're gonna and we're gonna do what we have to do. Niggas not so much do that for us. Mm-hmm. Besides Papoose with Remy, that's the only time we see a nigga hold a bitch down. <laughs> right? Niggas is not holding. I us mean, down. it's rare. So we'll, we'll, we'll be, we'll we'll be holding Jada down, though. He is, because Jada's a wild girl. <laughs> Shout we out love to Big her. Jada. <laughs> we love her. Right. But what I'm saying is, like, we'll hold a nigga down and stuff, but it's like, you know, men don't give us that same respect. But as soon as we leave and shit gets popping, everybody want to talk about they built up a black woman. We support each other. We do this with each other. Exactly. Can't nobody say they made Dre Nicole. Can't nobody say they made Lex P. Can't, Can't nobody, nobody say they made Callie. Yeah. Period. Yeah. We did this. You didn't give me this personality. You didn't give her these mm-hmm. bars. Like right. you can't stop t- trying to take credit for what other people are doing. The talent or the, yes. the drop. I mean, because going. what's meant for you too. Whatever is your path and what you destined to be, whatever God has for you, that's what He got for you. Right. It don't matter who come in and out your life. If this is what's for you, exactly. then it's for you. If you ain't give me this. God gave me this. Exactly. Right. Right. So how do you feel about easy, your ex now? Like, do y'all ha- are y'all cool? I um, just I. Pain and dust. It just. Can I want you to do what you do? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not like, what's the word? I'm not mad. I'm mm-hmm. not none of that. Like, you're great. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're very talented. You have amazing talents or whatever. Just do you. Mm-hmm. Right. Don't do. Don't worry about what I. Right. Do. Like, mm-hmm. let's just move on. Yeah. Like, don't bash me. Right. Now, listen. It was a point in time where I did. I was mad. I was saucy as a woman. You like, I stayed this long and you wanna. This how you doing me? Mm-hmm. So I put it in my music. Mm. I, I mean, put in my music that I'd rather make some money about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going and they think you're going to go F with a, a million, just burn yeah. yourself out. Right, right. That's what, let him tell her that's what I went to go do. I went to burn myself out. Mm. No, well, I went to studio. I went out. Yeah. They always think that, but especially. That's what small minded women do. Like women who got focus. You and think. Vision, I'm not about to go fuck with no other nigga to try to get back at you. There's no benefit to I me. I know how you gonna look at me. I yeah. know how niggas is. I know that they, ah, Kiki, I did this, I had, mm-hmm. I did, no. That's why I say, re- having revenge sex never works. I get my leg back respect. with these racks. Exactly. 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 I get my leg back with these racks. I'm a boss up and do the things you think, you think I need you, I'm gonna show you. I I'm, promise, I promise I don't. Right. And I think not sometimes not you the same. I just, <laughs> really, because honestly, I feel like I you did that. I talked about my old nigga you on the did. show. He made me so mad. I dropped. I said that nigga name. I said this nigga got me so fucked up. We ended up having to go delete the episode like six months later, yeah. and it was way before the show ended up like blowing up. So I'm so, so glad people, we deleted that. Yeah, oh my God. but it was like, but I was like talking mad shit about him. But I'm, I'm not gonna no, lie. I, got, I don't got no no. Like, and I never do that. That's how I knew. Like I'm like. Mm-mm. You not good for me because you be taking me out of my character. And they look for a reaction. Yeah. They, they do things to get a reaction from you. I had to learn that. I'm like, you know what? This is only for a reaction. How are you going to choose to react right now? Mm-hmm. I'm going to choose to let you have it, move on with my life, continue to make these rats. You do you, and I'm going to go yep. find me a, a big, big baller. Yep, a big baller. Thank you. <laughs> so let me get off topic real quick because I want to talk about this because you're beautiful. You're attractive mm-hmm. and you young. You, you know, you a newcomer. And I mean, look, even though Auntie a little older than you, we still kind of new in the industry too. And I feel like a lot of people fuck with us. They like, who y'all, we always talk about this, who y'all fucked to get y'all deal? Mm-hmm. How did y'all get here? How are y'all doing mm-hmm. this? Because, exactly. Yeah. We didn't fuck nobody to get here. We say this all the time and they always do that to us. But people gonna always assume. They 
they're gonna always assume that. So how do you? So how do you handle that though? Like, cause look, we may, we need some advice a little bit, cause it, um, it's so aggravated. It's hard for us not to react sometimes. You know, it's it's really just the fact that you cannot control what people think. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, they gonna think whether you tell them I ain't do that or you trying to prove a point to them. They're still going to think that you you did, mm-hmm. or people are gonna lie on you mm-hmm. and say that you did this with this person. Trust me, I go through this. It's an example here to think that they homeboy they told their homeboy they had sex with me. I don't even know that man. Girl, I don't wow. even know that man. Mm-hmm. Like literally, it's, you can you cannot even you can't control it. It's just you continue to live like you live. You know for a fact that you work hard to put the money into your business, mm-hmm. or you work hard to, and to prove you know to make it where you want to make it. Right. And it, Paying attention to that is only gonna lower your vibrations. Right. Your life. So 100%. I want to stay high in my vibration, so I can keep racking these, rat, bringing these rats in, mm-hmm. so I can keep showing people that I'm talented and that I can do this. Because when you react with emotion with for other people's thoughts and issues, that does not benefit you at, at all. all. Yep. Like uh, uh, you could be messing with a nigga and he buy you a camera. He buy you something to put on your show. Mm-hmm. Now you and you let him go. Now he done punted your whole, yeah. your whole. Girl, girl. Oh he put a candle. He put a candle in your house. I'll operate. He act like I man. I put that. Bit. You know what's crazy though. And this is why I always, like, my ex is a cool-ass nigga. He actually gave, he really did give us the idea for Wind Down Wednesday when no, we started. Yeah, he did. But he don't ever try to take credit for that shit. That's he good. never does. Because he's secure with himself. He yeah. probably has his own mm-hmm. stuff going on. He does, on. and he definitely does. Exactly. But he's never been like, oh, I told Lex Peter. He ain't never did that, ever, ever, right. ever. He's secure with himself as a man. He knows that he had a boss with him. And right. that you wanted to, he put you on. And he mm-hmm. know that he, you know what I mean? He knows that with himself. He ain't got to brag to his homeboys because he, right. it is what it is. Right, like, right. she doing her thing. I'm still making money. I'm still doing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So that's, this the type of man that we applaud for. Yes. We hit him with the, let's give it up. Period. Not the Period. Thank you. I love it. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we are here to talk to y'all about HelloFresh. Y'all know things are a little different now. Things are getting pricey. We hate going to the grocery store. So I love HelloFresh because everything gets delivered to your door. And you don't need to go to the grocery store for anything. Right, yeah. I love anything that makes my life easier because we have been so busy lately. Mm-hmm. And also, the food is just super delicious. Like, I got the Melty Monterey Jack Burgers the mm-hmm. other day. Was really, really good. It's so good. And then they have like their summer series right. out right now. So they have like Old Bay shrimp and sausage boiled. Mm-hmm. They have the grilled steak lettuce wraps. They just have so many options. Because I know with a lot of meal kit systems, you kind of have to eat the same thing over right. and over again. HelloFresh has 55 plus weekly options that you can choose from. And I know it's summertime, so even if you have an account with them and you're at a vacation spot, all you have to do is change your address and they'll deliver it straight to wherever you're at. Yes, and it's all food that can be ready in 30 minutes or less. So all you have to do is go to Poor Minds. Oops, sorry. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash PoorMind16 and use code PoorMind16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash PoorMind16. Okay, so now we gon' get into, into the, the bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. The, the bed. bed. Bow. 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 And first of all, <laughs> I didn't even know this how it go, but I just asked my dad. And let me just say this. My girl is icy as fuck. Fake. Hey, per. It, it, no, it ain't no nigga. I love it. I it's love it. Stop playing with her because she is not one of them, okay? Yeah. I'm loving this episode. I'm having a grand old time. Yet. I was literally sleepy like three minutes before, but I'm... Now you leave, me too. I'm doing my makeup in the car like, oh, what I'm going to do? No, I'm loving it here. Okay, so now we're going to get into the bed segment. So we wanted to talk about deal breakers in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. And the reason I want to talk about this because, honestly, I thought I thought I was a big old freak, big pussy. Big, I thought it was like, turn it up in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. I thought you probably mother- is. No, I really thought nobody can out freak me. Mm-hmm. Period. But then once I really started like talking to people and realized <laughs> really myself, freak me. Hold on, bitch. Wait, I'm yeah. not that freaky. Yeah. I really just like to have good sex. I like to feel good in the bedroom. So I wanted, I always am interested to like know other women's deal breakers in the mm-hmm. bedroom. So that's what we're going to talk about today. What are your deal I breakers know y'all, in the bedroom? I, heard, I had a conversation like this before too, and I felt the same way. Like, yeah. when they would ask me questions, I was like, yeah. Put a fall out the shell, like, whoa, that's what y'all do. Yes, <laughs> I did not know. I'm very vanilla. I am very vanilla. Like, I used to you, think but that I wasn't, that, though. There's, but... there's some things that you do that I don't do. There's some things that I know that you don't do. Like, I'm not going to lie, a deal breaker in the bedroom. 
If a nigga ever tried to put his toe in my mouth. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Why would you do that? I did it once. No. Okay, twice. Oh, you liked it. I'm not sucking on that toe. I think I was just drunk. I didn't wasn't like oh no, like like me just what did you do it? I think I was just drunk. Well, it wasn't like me on my knees and like I put his toe in my mouth. Like it was like I was riding dick backwards, and then you know how you lean over, and it's like his toe was right there. So I just was like, never crossed my mind. I never okay. thought to do that. Maybe like rub on the leg, yeah, a little twerk on her, but <laughs> she popped that bitch in her mouth. Now every time I see that nigga, I look at his feet. But then I'm always say, oh, you a nasty nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> every time I see that nigga, I be like, hello. <laughs> in my defense, though, too, I have like this thing about fucking with niggas with ugly feet. So I never talk to niggas who got ugly feet. I am weak. So his feet wasn't like nasty. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's a, that was a little wild. That was probably like one of the wildest things I did in bed. But like, you know, you. <laughs> What you do? Oh, you must be new here. <laughs> do you have a wristband? <laughs> Go ahead and say it. We, we being real right now. Ooh, you would you... never do it? Okay, let's eat ass. Oh, All right, okay. everybody. Why are y'all laughing? We have talked about this before. And like... We got this laughing. I have before. Ass. That's just not... I don't know. It's like, how you even... No, yeah, in friend, yeah. I can't okay. I'll say this: it's I not put a like, finger in there before. Like I put my finger in a nigga ass before. Wait, I don't, I don't think I, right. I don't think I'm the person y'all gonna have to come face with. Cause huh? <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, oh, my nigga love it. My nigga love. It. He not. He don't even like that shit. But he was just like, okay, let me try it. We tried it. Whatever. Who <laughs> wanted to? He wanted you to try no, it though, right? No. No, you just wanted to try oh. it. You is a freak. Nobody can out freak you. <laughs> Nobody a can out freak you. I mean, somebody point me to the best ass eater. I said, hey, how you doing? I think Nikki meant. Oh, the other way around? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think we. <laughs> my bad. See what that happened was. But honestly, no, I just feel like sometimes when you're very comfortable with somebody in the bedroom, I just don't mind trying different things. Yeah. Is yeah. it something that me and this person do all the time? Like, no. Like, it was like a one, two, and. But it was just something I wanted to try because I wanted to see what the hoopla was. I feel you, you gotta be comfortable. Like, but, who, yeah. but who conversations? What rooms do you be in where this is the hoopla? Uh, I have, <laughs> like I said, I have been to a whole sex resort. Oh, I have done, a, I like mean, I, I have friends. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to put it on blast. Our one of our close friends has a whole sex podcast. Shout out to Kiki. Kiki is a freaky bitch. Kiki is a freak. Kiki is very, very freaky. Okay, shout out to Kiki. Shout out to very Kiki from Cocktails. Yeah, Kiki. They, they have a show called Cocktails. Emphasis on the cock. Yeah. So it's just like, mm. yeah. So, like, we done had Samaya on the show. She is a sex expert. Like, we are around a lot of people that really live this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was just like, look, yeah. I just want to show it. I was going to get in there. And I got in there. It was you. cool. It was cool. Ass is just a weird thing to me. Like, no, it's for me not. To try to eat it. Listen, I, I, okay. A ah, man's, a man's it, ass. I'm eating it. Ah! A man's ass. <laughs> I could, I'd probably eat a woman's ass before I do a man's yes. ass. Yes. Well, the reason is, it's like, now, I, a, that's a man. Yeah. I know, but no. he is, my, my nigga is very, very. I got to see your shower routine. Oh, yeah, my nigga is I, very clean. Never, never, yeah. he's yeah. Yeah, That was never a concern on they my They got mind. little, let me shut up. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. I Not a little this. floss. But I'm like, <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I'm weak. Okay, so what's your deal breaker in the bedroom? Like, what is something you will absolutely not do? She like eat ass, bitch. I can yeah. uh, so you want to suck, suck a toe? She, we know she's not gonna suck a toe. Um, you know, I heard about them folks that like the the girl to strap them down. The, the niggas. I'll peg it. You would never peg a nigga. Fuck that. Okay. Yeah. I can agree. We've, we've talked about that before. I agree. Yeah. I would try it. Oh, no, ma'am. So you would do no, it. No, but not with my nigga. We, my nigga, would, first of all, would never let me do that. Yeah. First of all, ever.
I would never necessarily want to be in a serious relationship with somebody yeah. that would let me pay them. But I'm not gonna lie, I would try it just to be like, this is say like, I did what it. What if what he supposed to do, Mo? <laughs> yeah. What if he do he on it? On the shrub. Okay, see, so you were taking shit too far. No, because that's about, real life, though. I was though. thinking about him more so throwing it that's back. That's my concern. Yeah, no. Like, I'm, why is she no, throwing that ass back? I'm thinking about the You know, the facial expression. Yes. You do it like... I'm thinking about him throwing that ass so, back. So, like, what, what you supposed to... Am I supposed to smack your ass? Like, is that what we do? <laughs> I'm not... Well, I mean, I guess if you back the... Why not? I'm not... <laughs> Bitch, yeah. <laughs> no. I might even have a paddle. <laughs> Cause I be thinking about me and how what I be doing when I be throwing that ass back, and I oh would never want to see my nigga do that. Yeah. Know, but do they do that when they do it? Yes, yes, they do. I've seen a video. Is the back arched? Like, yeah, is it, it really? Go- I've seen a video. That's my crazy. friend has pegged somebody before, and she sent me a video <laughs> of her doing it. And I was actually hey, like, oh my. yeah, she was pegging somebody in the video. And I but, was like, so what was, he was throwing it back. Yes. And he was like, uh. oh, hell no. <laughs> he liked it. He Clearly. Was, he was biting he the pillow. He was biting the pillow. And she, he let her record. Oh, yeah. It was a wild, it was a wild ways. video. It was a wild video. And but she, what's the conversation after that? Like, after I beat your back in? I mean, she's a freak. That's how I know she's a freak, and I'm not there yet. Because I say I would want to try I would try never it. look at you the same. Right, but when me it comes either. down to Don't it. Don't cook me breakfast, bitch. Like, <laughs> you want a Chanel bag? Not my eggs over easy. <laughs> not do he want the Chanel, bitch. <laughs> you need some money? What's, like, the, what's the conversation after I literally but, beat your back in? But I be concerned about, I don't know, like, I be concerned about the smell. Like, I feel like it probably be funky. If you, you fucking somebody in the booty. But like, yeah. Because I but, feel like niggas already not as clean yeah, as, like, we are as Exactly. Women. Yeah, I don't think they are. Um, But I feel like anybody that's done anal before, they know how to prepare their booty hole. But niggas don't. Niggas they know that, how to prepare active, their no, if it's the first time and the nigga's wanting to be pegged, he did not prepare his booty hole. But a nigga that wants to be moment. pegged, he's done it before. This ain't his first rodeo. That's not true. Somebody, somebody had their first rodeo before with somebody no. and was like, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it again. you know, females got the dildos. They got the everything oh. at, the, at the crib. So he probably seen that bitch and was like, fuck it, we But don't. I'm not going to lie, pegging mm-hmm. is something I, I say I would try it. But, like I said, I would never try it with somebody, like, I'm in love with or somebody that what? I care about. I would, First of all, my nigga would never, ever, ever. And then, like I said, the action of doing it, because you got to arch your back, you got to throw your ass back. He has to be comfortable. Like, yeah. you got to get that shit wet. Like, what's y'all spinning that bitch? Like, no, that's nasty. Oh, wait, not spinning in the booty hole. I just feel like What do you do? Okay, maybe I'm just not. I'm just... I'm right, right? I'm, no, you are right. But that's what I'm saying. We're even in the wild. But I did in the past say that I would do it, too. So what you do it? I would do it to a nigga, but I agree with her. Like, just because I'm one of them people, like, bitch, I'll try anything once. At least once. I'll be having a ball. <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try anything once, but it could be my nigga. Mm-mm. I agree yeah, with that it part. Can, it can't nigga. be. But, like, just to be like, damn, like, you know, you be out. I imagine myself, like, being old as fuck, like, 80 in a rocking chair, like, looking back on life, like, damn, bitch, you did. Boy, we had Boy, a time we had a last night. <laughs> Maybe I'm 21, so maybe I just get get a little old. Yeah, yeah. I feel like when I was your age, I probably would have been like, hell no. Yeah, it was a lot of things that I said, hell no, when I was 21, like, as I got older. I was like, okay, I'll try it. Because I feel like this. I look at sex like I look like at food. You don't know if you like it or not until you try it. You might think something nasty until you actually try it, and you're like, oh, shit, I actually kind of like this. You know what I'm saying? You really never know until you try it. Yeah. Like, you have to be a little bit adventurous in the bedroom. And I feel like, especially when you're in a relationship, because if y'all don't try new things or tap into each other, Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, we all have our boundaries in the bedroom, but you have to try new things to be a little open-minded, because you never know what you might like. Mm -hmm. Something that might gross you out, you actually do it, and you be like, oh, wait, this is not that bad. Because I've changed my mind about a lot of things. Oh, but if you're a deal-breaker... Well, no, I, go ahead. What she was like? Wow, well, we was gonna get off topic. I was gonna ask. Uh, <laughs> what? I'm scared. Oh no, it's not nothing bad. I'm just oh. saying, would you mess with a man who don't eat pussy but he got a good dick? No. Nah. Mm-mm. That's a because I love to get. I, I have I, though. I, I, I did in the past, and it. 
Yeah. Like, well, when he tried, it's horrible. Like, he'll try, it's, but it's he not just good. got that's dick is phenomenal. Like, dick, what? But I feel well, like somebody like that, you can teach them. It's not that hard to learn. But he don't want to. Pussy. Like, he just don't, don't eat pussy. That's I what I was that. about to say. For me, it was more so, like, me and him started fucking with each other. And, you know, sometimes, every time you fuck a nigga, he might not eat your pussy every time. Because sometimes you just be in a moment. Y'all yeah, like, let's go. Yeah. So... I think the first time we fucked, it was just like, whatever. It was some quick shit. But then the second time, it was like, okay. Like, you know, he was like, oh, I don't do that. Well, I ain't, I don't do these. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> and I actually, I orgasm like, that off of his. Right. So yeah. that's a big deal. Like, if you don't eat pussy, you can't mm-hmm. fuck with me. Like, but that's... And they expect you to, you know, do the opposite for them. Yeah, they oh, want you yeah. to get them heads. But you don't. Then, no. We gay. not doing I that. think that's very gay. You think so? I think that's gay. Yeah. Yeah, I think... But I I had um, talked to a guy before. It wasn't somebody I was fucking. But he said he doesn't like to eat pussy because it's a texture thing. Mm. He doesn't like the way it necessarily feels in his yeah. mouth. Mm. <laughs> but I just feel like this. I mean, I guess I could... Immediately. As, as, a, man, as a man, if you... If you, you have uh, me fucked up, like, Yeah, like, if you are attracted to a woman mm-hmm. and you're fucking her, you... I get satisfaction out of pleasing. I love to make my nigga feel good. I always yeah. say this, like... It turns me on to turn you on. So I feel like I should get that same energy. Like, you love seeing me have an orgasm. You love exactly. making me feel good. Like, exactly. so it's it a even shared a, energy. It doesn't matter about a texture thing. It's, yeah. Like, okay. you like it or you not. You should just want to please me. You should exactly. just want to please me, period. I don't know. Get into it. So you never said what y'all do versus I did. Is. I said, what? I'm not sucking no nigga toes. Oh, the toes. Yeah, bitch. That's it? No, yeah, so that's... you'll do everything else but suck a toe? Um, Because that's like, you done passed the toes. Toes is cleaner right? than booty. I don't care what you say. Depending on who you talking to. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Wait now. Sometimes, is sometimes niggas booty. will get out the shower, the booty hole clean. They might walk to the mailbox with no shoes on. <laughs> you no, you really who talking to niggas that's walking to the mailbox with no shoes she on? Has. And do you think niggas get in the shower and spread their booty sheets like the girls? We. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, yes, yes, I do. I mean, the water go yes, baby. I do. I'm sorry. Niggas don't. I don't yes, think they do. do. I, I think they just let the water run. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't think niggas hold their cheeks open. Because I hold my cheeks open. Them bitches go get clean. <laughs> And then I'm, I'm squirting. Yeah, I don't think niggas hold their cheeks open. I think like they, 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 get... they clean in there. They do. But you, y'all never know okay. more than this. <laughs> Cause y'all, have y'all lived with a nigga before, though? Yeah. Y'all live with a nigga before. So, you know, sometimes when a nigga be in the shower, he in the shower, you brushing your teeth, you supposed to watch what that nigga doing. Mm-hmm. Let me see how you clean that booty hole, bro. Yeah. Let me see how you wash them balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, if, if a nigga in the shower, I... I, I uh, let me see what you're doing. I'm, I'm gonna see it. Listen, I'm I'm getting a shower with you or whatever you doing, whatever you doing. I I need you to like oh, that's privacy. Like I, I don't want to see yeah, you clean. I don't want to see that. I'm gonna get out before you. I need to make sure. I need you to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to see that. I never seen. But a, I, mm-hmm. you never seen a man like really wash himself. Even being in the shower with my nigga, when I think about it, like nah, like I'm turning this way, you turn this <laughs> yeah, way. What you doing mean. back there is not my business. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't want to get some water. <laughs> I wash your back if I gotta wipe it up a little bit. We can do this together. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> what if you wiping it? It's like a little. It's all right. That's it's what I'm here for. No, that's <laughs> not okay. That's, that's, what... that's not okay. I'm sorry. That's not. If I wipe you in the shower and that's something to come off in the red. <laughs> That's what we hear. I'm gonna throw, throw that you. No, That's what it's made for. Why is still dirty and you got it from the toilet? That <laughs> don't make no sense. You ain't wiped good enough on the toilet. It's a why I'ma eat it, right? <laughs> cause who? Cause I. I'm yeah. Weak. I'm weak. <laughs> that gives that gives good like things. Mind you, I have never washed a man's ass. Let me just throw that out here. Cause I know people gonna be like, "Damn, Lacey, watch that nigga ass." Oh, you better have all the, but I feel oh, like oh, oh, God. Like, the ones that's gonna hit the ceiling. They about to come from the nursing home at my ass. But that's a better <laughs> idea, cause I feel like at least if you wash me, you know it's clean before you eat it. I have never had a problem. But it gotta be straight out the shower. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I feel like the one time we did try, like it was straight out the shower. But I've never had a problem with his hygiene, like. Ever, mm-hmm. never. I, yeah, I never had a, a problem with any nigga that I'm fucking with. Yeah, I mean, but I just think I just I don't want to know about your ass. I just don't. I just me. Nothing no. about you. Nothing. <laughs> Y'all don't even lick the gooch a little bit. I, yeah, I do. But I told you I put my finger in a nigga ass before, but it was really just because he kept asking me to. <laughs> that's a freaky. So I was like, why not? I mean, shit. And he liked it. Yeah, I know that's. <laughs> I hate what? this show. And I did like not, and I did not talk to him the week after that. We he stopped was talking late. right after that. He was moaning. 
I'm weak. Not y'all was having a moan off. Yeah, it was moaning. All right, so we're going to move on. So deal breakers, obviously her deal breakers were the stuff that we <laughs> said we do. I suck toes to fight that. Oh, yeah, damn, I'm, it's strict in this motherfucker. I told, you know, long as it ain't got no I can go brush my teeth yeah. real quick. Mm -mm. Don't let them come out of you. Okay, okay. Because a, a nigga could be, because I feel like you get into a nigga, you're not going to say, but bitch, you suck my toes. But bitch, you eat my, you ate my, just ate my ass. I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to say and one more thing. Maybe I don't want to lick booty because I have like a fear. Like, what if I'm licking it and it tickling you for it? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always take shit so far? <laughs> Wait, that's valid though. Because if you fart in my face, I'm going to put you. I'm going to be mad as fuck. Why do you always take shit so far? No, but that's valid because if you fart in my face, that's disrespectful. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Yeah. It we all done got our ass ate before it's, it tickles sometimes. I have never felt the urge to fart while my ass is being you a wild girl. <laughs> wait a minute, cause wait. <laughs> <laughs> She's speaking from experience. She didn't have to let one loose. You had to puff. No, I didn't. I ain't never farted in no nigga face. You didn't you didn't do it, but, but you, you had, had to. to. Yeah, you were on there clinching. <laughs> wait, cause y'all did Wait, I'm not gonna lie, that was I'm not I, but it didn't come out. I'm holding that for dear life. Like I can't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> or you be like, hold on, wait. Yeah, you gotta wiggle away. Like it just feels too good. But right now, you're... <laughs> I'm just saying. These are the things I think about. That's why we talked it out, though. That's why we supposed to talk it out. Yeah. I am weak. I, I've never done that. I've never felt that. But, I mean, I don't know, tickling me doesn't make me want to have to poot. It's <laughs> <laughs> how bad I'm being tickled, though. Uh, and we, so let us know what y'all So you doing? ain't never got even regular tickled in, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What are, I'm sorry. Wait, cause what is going I'm on? I'm confused, too, because I've been tickled before. That make her want to fart. Like, now, like, you get tickled and you have to fart? You yeah, ain't never... Too bro, you ain't it. never left. Not every time. It's lying. <laughs> Everybody has laughed hard enough before and you farted a little bit. I know you are. <laughs> you ain't never sneezed before. Yeah. Ever. Oh. Now, wait, hold on now. Sneeze like, like everybody has accidentally farted and you was like, ooh. <laughs> oh, and my God. And nobody noticed. So nobody I'm not going to lie, y'all. I used to talk to this nigga and he would fart in his sleep. And he would be embarrassed, so he would wake up and start talking. <laughs> He's like, oh, what? You, you Did you turn the TV on? <laughs> what? No, nigga. <laughs> he used to just talk and talk and what? Did you fall asleep? <laughs> oh, wait, nigga, I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. Wait, no. Because I had the same situation. Bro. Whoa. I had I niggas that did the same thing. And he just jump scared himself out of his sleep. And yeah. I just pretend like I'm still. Yeah, you gotta pretend like you sleep. I'm like this. Because I don't want him to feel embarrassed. You gotta do what you gotta do. But like, I want, I turned over. I was just like smiling, like, ugh. <laughs> Y'all are so kind. Because the nigga farted on me in bed one time. And I pushed that nigga off oh the bed. Oh my God. God. No, it wasn't on me now. Yeah, it wasn't no, on me. It was farted on my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Knock that ass off his shaking. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Yeah. I was like, oh, Just uh, about to get pushed. Like, wake up like, ooh, yeah. you nasty. Yeah, he used to do it oh, all the time. Oh, he walked up and she was on the floor. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. Yeah, I definitely, I would always act like I was asleep or act like I didn't hear nothing. Like, it was so, mm -mm. I don't know how we that got on this. I'm like, I don't play like this. Okay. Now a word from our sponsor, Bitter Hill. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And y'all know we have been through so much in these past years. We just had a lot going on. And I will say one thing that has helped me get through a lot of my trying times is going to BetterHelp.com. Yes, for sure. If They make it super easy. All you have to do is get on there. You can talk to a counselor in under 48 hours. And they make it easy to change your counselor. And financial aid is available. Right, and the best thing about it is that you're doing this all from the comfort of your own home, right. and it's also cheaper than in-person therapy. So if money is an issue, that's why we partnered with them to make everything super affordable for you. Right. So you're going to go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds, and you're going to get 10% off of your first month. That's better, H-E-L-P.com backslash poor minds, and get y'all some therapy y'all will not regret. And get y'all some therapy y'all will not regret it. All right, so we're going to move on because this is getting too much. It's getting, it's getting too, too loud. loud. <laughs>
<laughs> so now we're gonna get into the bop. Hey, the, the bop. bop. Hey, the bop. Bow, 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 bow. Mm. Okay, so I actually have, y'all know usually I be on the RB tip, mm. but I actually heard this song the other day. Um, my homeboy put me on this song and it is so fire. It's by West Side Boogie. It's called I. Right. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's one of them songs, like, if you getting turned up, getting ready to go to the club, this is, like, the song you get ready to. Mm -hmm. Like, the the song is just, like, he basically talking about he, like, fucking with hoes that bring him more hoes that act right. Yeah. Like, they just in the club, getting lit, whatever. Like, they turn up having a good time. So, yeah, that's my bop of the week. I right, West Side Boogie. And I got another bop of the week. What is it? Uh, you got a song with uh, Money Long, uh -huh. Chains, That Bitch Fire. Period. Hey, went off on the track. Thank so you, thank you. her EP yes. just dropped Toxic Chocolate. And I was like, hey, you really be rapping and I your love ass that off. Name. Toxic, Toxic Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Like, you really be My rapping. My tourist friend gave me that name, too. For real? We was in the club, and she was like, we were just talking mm -hmm. about like a situation or something with probably a nigga or something. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, Kelly, you might be the problem. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not the problem. Maybe I'm part of it. Right. Right. But like, I'm really not the problem. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she was like, "You just toxic. You're so chocolate, and you like toxic chocolate. I love me a dark skin yeah. man. Yeah. Ooh. Me some too. some fire tattoos. Real tall. Mm -hmm. Dark skin tatted. Hella tall. Mm -hmm. Good. Good white teeth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We love chocolate. Yeah. And so she was like, "You toxic chocolate. You like toxic chocolate." Mm -hmm. And I was like. I love it. I need that to be my thing. And the, co right. the cover of it was fire. Fire. Well, it was, it was fire. fire. Yeah, I mean, it was so. It was just like perfect. Thank like the you. every the EP is fire. But like that song that you got with Money Long, I love her. I love her. She's hard. Yes, mm -hmm. super. I mean, her pen game is really different. But oh, yeah. sure. you know what it is? I feel like a lot of times with rappers nowadays, especially women, because women are dominating the rap game right now, they the try to... They hate to see it. They mm -hmm. hate to see it because they feel like, oh, all y'all rapping about is pussy. But y'all are not taking the time to really listen to these women's music. Because mm -hmm. honestly... When you talk about bars, like you really be rapping. Yeah, right. Like Thank you. a lot of people really not rapping. Like I can yeah. I get it. Sometimes you you come across an artist every now and then they really not talking about shit. They really not rapping. But I was like, damn, this girl really got some bars. Or like, I for feel real. like some people just look up and get a hit. Yeah, sometimes. you look up and get yeah, a hit. You can't really rap though. For yeah, real. you can't really rap mean, though for real. But it's a difference between. Yeah. It's a lot of people that are great rappers, like these battle rappers. They got bars for days, but they can't make a song. Mm -hmm. I say that all the time. Right. Like, it's people, like. You want people to be able to rap, yes, but can mm -hmm. you make a song? Like, you would rather listen to a good song mm -hmm. than somebody rapping, but da 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 Right. <laughs> like, yeah. you don't want to hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's and true. people don't be knowing what they want. Everybody's so super picky mm -hmm. with certain stuff. Oh, females talking about pussy sex sales, though. Right, yeah, You right. don't want to keep hearing about um, the, the hurricane that happened over there. Like, right, right, uh, right, right. Like, I get it. Right. I get it. And that's why there is people for that. But turn mm -hmm. them up. Right. Y'all not turning them up because that's not really what y'all want to hear. Exactly. Y'all want to so, hear about pussies. Exactly. exactly. We want to be in the club. When and we're the in the club, that's what we want like, yeah. You're mad about it, but like, what else? What else are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Right. What, what I else? mean, the niggas can talk about whatever the fuck they want to talk and about. And all they talk about is the same thing. Now we talking about talking about fucking hoes. Playing dick and leaving the bitch. Killing niggas. I don't want to. I ain't killed nobody. And half time, it be killed. That's what I'm saying. I ain't killed nobody, but I did pop some choppers pussy. Choppers is not singing. Exactly. Them choppers is quiet. Oh, period. So what you been listening to? What's your bop of the week, girl? Um, I like this song called What Up with, um, I don't really know, P, P, DG and mm -hmm. Polo G, it's like, hey. Oh, I like oh I, I, we fuck with Polo G. Yeah. yeah. We, I fuck with Polo G. Yeah, that I nigga like that nigga be song. rapping, too. He do. I feel like a lot of people be sleeping on, like, the younger people because they be like, not everybody wants to rap like Tupac mm -hmm. and shit like that. Like, not yeah. everybody's going to be, like, a comment. Like, right. I feel like, but sometimes these people are making good club music, but y'all not really listening to what they saying. Like, uh, yeah, they, they, they turn really real, real stuff and real, they real problems into shit that people could turn up to. Mm -hmm. Like, they paying into... Some, I don't know, some lit shit. Right, right, That's right. That's what I did. Right. Ooh, I was going through it, but, hey, Just toxic. Yeah. Toxic. Toxic. <laughs> toxic. toxic. Hey. Like, right, I get my leak back with these racks. I done turned That's my whole cheating do. situation into... Yeah, Money, yeah. Exactly. Because that's how you turn up on a nigga. Yeah, yeah. So what you been listening to, Big Dre? Well, girl, you know I love Brent Fayez. So His album? Yeah. So good. He just dropped his album. Yeah. So I don't even have a bop. Like, it's the whole album. album. I think it's Price of Fame for me. I like Price of Fame, too. Yeah, Price of Fame and, like, yeah. Rolling Stone. 
I think that was it. He's just so it's toxic. Just so, he is. Speaking of toxic niggas, he, he is very toxic, toxic. But I feel like he's so talented and he can sing. So we just be like, I mean, whatever. We'll give him a pass. Yes. Yeah. We'll and so he's saying it's so angelic and beautiful. Right. So it's like, you're not really even hearing him. It's just like. I know he was a bad person. My favorite song by him. <laughs> I'm fucking another dirty bitch. Yeah. And we what? like, yeah. Yes. Yes. I can't remember. The first time, well, not the first time I heard him, but one of my favorite songs by him, I knew he was a bad person because he came <laughs> on the track singing. He was like this. I got too many hoes. <laughs> I said, oh, wait. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that's still a compliment. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, how are you saying that to somebody? Like, but he just like, singing. Like, that shit up. And no, he be no. Yeah. Like, man, I would be like, you right. They not me. Oh, my God. Like, why are you still got them hoes? Why do you, so you don't even be thinking about it like this? Yeah. It's so nice the way he said it. You know what I You, you done forgot. Like, you went like this to. Oh, that make you feel special. Toxic. You went from this to. <laughs> oh. Oh. And they <laughs> is nice. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. I always ask people this uh, when they come on the show. So, who is your favorite person that you've already worked with, and who is like your dream collab that you want to work with? Okay, um, favorite person that I've already worked with, um, I would say Bia. Okay. Okay. That was just a dope collab, period. Mm -hmm. It just gave the girls Whisper Twins remake. Yes. And just bad, bad bitches don't gotta scream, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Period. Um, who I really want to work with is Nikki, obviously. That's yeah. just, that's yes, just, I, I just need that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know yeah. what I will say I like about you? You don't do too much online. Yeah. A yeah. lot of these girls be doing too much, like Nikki owes them something, and yeah. like, I feel like if you put your head down at work, she gonna come. She, she sees everything. Yeah. Exactly. She I, is I, very I tapped same. in. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you gonna get that Nikki collab. Damn. It's coming, it's definitely coming. Because I'm not gonna lie though, I love and you. And even if I don't, I still, she's my childhood. Right, like, exactly. That's my childhood, so it's like, it is what it is, but I do, oh my God, I yeah. think I'm going to be drunk for three weeks straight yeah. outside of the club, like, how oh, I got a song with okay. Nikki? <laughs> this, like, don't fuck with me, period. Right, right, right. But I will say, I love you and Chanting together. That's my girl. Y'all yeah. flow so well That's together. My girl. And I mean, y'all ate mm -hmm. on that song. What's the name of the song, y'all? Track sorry. and Yes, that is a bop. Yeah. When I first heard that, I was like, oh, y'all mesh really well. They like, do, and they both have different styles. Like, yeah. You know, rap, but it still flows. It yeah. still, yeah. it flowed. That was like, mm -hmm. that was like girl. one of the first times. I was like, okay, I really fuck with her. Like, I fucked with the song, then when I heard that, I was like, okay, she can really fucking rap. Yeah. Like, I was like, okay. So yeah, that's, that's my, I love y'all together. That's like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Period>. <laughs> so now we gonna get into our favorite segment of the show which is pour your heart out you know where we talk about the questions mm -hmm. people be writing us questions you either gonna ask us a question or you gonna tell us if we fucked your life up either Period. way we wanna know we wanna know so send your questions to askpourminds at gmail.com that's A-S-K-P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S at gmail.com Lex you gonna read this first question I might as well girl alright question number one hi ladies so I've been talking to the same nigga for two years plus now one is my ex-boyfriend oh I've been talking to the same two niggas for two plus years now mm -hmm. one is my ex-boyfriend boyfriend of two years one is a casual situation mm -hmm. they do the bare minimum but it's not fun or excited nor are they breaking any crazy bread i'm over them but i'm finding it difficult to find new men who are willing to do the little things like offering to pay for my transport to see them and making sure i have somewhere <laughs> somewhere to stay I live one hour train away from the city that the niggas be at. So I've, I've been pretty strict about not entertaining men who can't do the bare minimum. Spending my own money to meet a man for the first time who wants to see me is really absurd. It's not a money thing. I can afford it. It just feels like a waste of time. On the other hand, I feel like I'm only 23, young and sexy, and I want to have a good time. I guess my question is, should I leave my old niggas alone and just focus on myself, keep playing these games with my old niggas, or see where it where it goes with the newer options even if they're not meeting my standards do you have any advice on how to ask these men to pay for transport or hotel I find it embarrassing to ask because it seems obvious to me that they should offer so I just don't reply if they don't but I'm not sure if that's sensible considering I am niggerless Girl, you did answer your question three thousand times, girl. <laughs> yeah. That's how now I feel. 
Listen, now I try not to judge people because you know she is a little young. But yeah. I will say this: you, I'm you, young. you wasting your okay. time. You're wasting your time. When a man really wants you to be in his presence, nothing is gonna stop him from getting you to him. You said he does. They do the bare minimum, and it's not fun or exciting. So what are you doing? It's okay to be niggerless. Literally, if you're if you're niggerless and you're doing this stuff, that's what we just talked about. You're doing right. this stuff for yourself. Trust me, you yeah. gonna attract. You need to start attracting the good energy so you can attract the type of niggas that you like. Say it. Because once you do, them same niggas that got the bare minimum, all of a sudden they got some. They got something to say. Yeah. They got some. They got some for that transportation. Uh, yeah. They got some for that room. Hello. They got some for you to be in the city. Period. They got extra stuff for you. Right. So you gotta start attracting this type of man that you like. Let them. Let them go. Be be niggerless for a little minute. Be niggerless. Well, yeah. also feel it like, might even happen for two weeks. Right. Just, but you gotta feel like you deserve more. I feel like a lot of women feel like they don't deserve exactly something, or they feel like they can't. Add, I don't give a. Or I you don't can't care. say nothing. Or, right. Like you, you need to say it. Like you're doing a bare minimum. I don't want to mess with you. You're not doing enough for me. So right. I'm gonna leave you alone. Yeah, cause you're even asking in a way where you, it's like you're unsure if you're expecting too much. You're not expecting no too much. Expecting a nigga to pay for you. If you give enough, if you give enough. Pussy. He gonna ask you for some pussy. You can ask for anything you exactly. want, and you really shouldn't yeah. even have to ask. That's if we're being honest. If a man wants to see you, he's gonna be like, and if he wanna do it, yeah, I'm gonna come get it. you. Mm -hmm. That's how you know, man. Like you say, hour away, oh, I'm gonna still come get you. Boom, we are gonna do something down there, or we, I'm gonna take you back with me and you just yeah. clear your schedule for a little bit. And he's giving your old niggas ain't shit. You just need to hold on. Yeah, you're and not. You're not. You're not. Attracting the right, right. Mm -hmm. and I feel like what Callie was saying earlier, like it's okay to be alone. Like you need to learn what you like, learn what you deserve, and give yourself the things that you expect from other people. Take yourself out, right. do things for yourself. So you're whenever somebody else does it for you, when some, because I'm not trying to be funny and I'm not judging you, sis, but somebody paying for you an Uber and paying for you the hotel that is bare minimum. Mm -hmm. So. When somebody even does that for you, you're not going to be impressed by that. Because I don't even want the next nigga to come along and him paying for your Uber and paying for your hotel. That's not something you should be impressed by. Mm -hmm. It gives, um, we going on a trip. Right. I can't, I ain't seen you. Right. I got tears the itinerary. But I don't, <laughs> right. I don't, going back into your friend's book, period. Right. Yeah. Write that down. Like, manifest. You live, you create your own reality. Like, Agreed. like say the things that you already live in. I right. learned that from somebody, my manager, mm -hmm. who uh, means a lot to me. She you got a, a good man. We got yeah. to hire you, too. <laughs> Shit. She teaches me a lot. No, for real, for real. And my, and my mom. They both teach my real mom. She really teaches me a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, like really sit down and, and create your own reality. I ams. A whole lot of I ams. I'm mm -hmm. like, this is already, I'm already doing this. I already feel good doing mm -hmm. this. Like, right. when it, you know, I love the way my man treats me. I mm. love that he takes me out. Like, feel that, feel that shit. Like, right. really feel that. Yeah. Period. Write that down. Like, that this is very And then true. look back into the journal and be like, dang, I manifested my dream life. I'm not like, gonna lie, I always yeah. talk about her, my reader, Sade, I love her. She she brought us food to the show, like, Sade is so sweet, but she told me that's how you should write your manifestations. You're not gonna say, oh, I am going to get, you're supposed to say, I have this. Right. right. My man does this. Exactly. My job pays me this. Like, you're already right. living it. Right. That's how you properly manifest. Mm -hmm. she I, I, am, so I am beautiful. Yes. I am this or yes. whatever. I'm doing this. Yes. Like, it feels so good to hop into my Mercedes 20, 20, 2022 Benz and just be able to drive wherever I want to. Like, you're right. that's what you're doing. It feels right. good to you. Talk mm -hmm. about it like you already have Like you already exactly. have it, period. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, let that nigga go. Be niggas and understand. And manifest. And manifest, period. Question number two. Go ahead, Dre. Okay. Hey, ladies. I love y'all so much. So, I've been dealing with this man, and he's about six years older than me. I've known him for about two months, but we haven't had sex yet. The crazy part is I'm so used to niggas trying to fuck on me ASAP to the point where I'm shook. He has a lot going on right now, so I understand he's trying to get his life back on track, so I would rather take it slow instead of rushing shit like normal. I want this situation to be different. Should I be worried or should I just go with the flow? I feel like we talked about this with 19, or maybe it was Trap, Wall Street Trap. One of them mm -hmm. we talked about it with. If you said he's trying to get his life back on track... Some niggas, honestly, when their money isn't right, they don't want to do nothing but get their shit together. Right. So I feel like 
you should embrace that. Like, I'm not saying, like, be, you know, a rod or die. Still have your fun in your life and do what you want to do, but just kind of be understanding and don't press him. Wait till he get his shit back together. You know, he's not trying to be like a bum nigga, so yeah. be happy that he's trying to get his shit back together. But it's very weird, but niggas that's about their bread, if they bread is fucked off, they not trying to do shit. They not trying to work. They ain't worried about no sex. They ain't worried about no being caked up. He trying to get his life back on track. So I would just say be patient and just take it for uh, what it is. And at least he communicated that with right. you. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's like, you know, he just trying to get his stuff together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not about you. You can't take it personally. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times that's what we do as women, though. We feel like if somebody not doing something with us or for us or we're not having sex, we automatically go to the bad. Exactly. And a lot of times men have other things going on emotionally. So maybe just have a conversation about it with him. Maybe just talk to him. Maybe that'll make him feel better. Yeah. So y'all can, you know, get a little more intimate. We have to open up those lines of communications to make men feel a little more comfortable sometimes. Yeah, because us as women, we love to talk about our problems. Right. You know what I mean? Men, they kind of retreat. Right. want to talk. Right. Um, so, yeah, if you care about them and you like them, just open up that line of communication, mm-hmm. you know? All right, question number three. Hey, guys, I moved to ATL from Los Angeles about a year ago. I'm 22 years old, and I'm still a virgin. I'm not super religious or anything, but I'm ready. But I'm also not looking to be in a relationship with anyone. How do you guys think I should go about it? Part of me felt for so long that it would be ideal for me to have to be in a relationship first to lose it. But I've always felt like my standards were too high. And because of that, the other half wants me to just date, have fun, and let it happen. I struggle with severe anxiety, and I've had it for a couple of years now, and that's also a part of my struggle in life in general. But I'm honestly but I'm honestly tired of letting that be my excuse. I also feel like the type of guys that I would want to date and have fun with wouldn't want to fuck a virgin. I feel like this generation of guys now, at least in the environments I'm in, don't even find it attractive at this point, or that's what it seems like, but I could be wrong. There's a couple of other factors that tie into this, but I wanted to keep it brief and to the point. So what should I do? Is being a virgin at 22 a bad thing? Is the first person you have sex with really that important? Or should I just find someone I'm comfortable with and get it over with? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, you waited this long don't find somebody you just come to with and just do it to get it over with. Mm-hmm. Sex is an experience. But you're also only 22. It don't matter if you're a virgin or not. Nine times out of ten, the person that you're with at 22 is not going to be the person you're with for the rest of your life. So I would say stop putting so much pressure on yourself. If a guy, I would say find somebody you're at least that cares about you and cares about your well-being. Because being that your anxiety is bad, let me tell you something. You're going to fuck this nigga, and if he don't say nothing to you the next day, your anxiety going to flare up, bitch. Feel so bad. you need to find somebody that at least cares about you. Yeah. You don't want to just get it over with and fuck somebody because that's going to make your anxiety real, real bad. Yeah, you just shouldn't be having sex because you feel like it's a bad thing. You right. Like, yeah, so this generation is like, mm-hmm. they don't really care, honestly. So they don't. I, I hold on to that until I feel like I'm ready. It's, or it's just the right person. Exactly. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like shit. I know I can speak for myself. When I lost my virginity, I ain't lose it to the right person. Right. I mean, I don't. Think I probably should have waited. Yeah. yeah. So no, it's I like, wasn't. I didn't really care about <laughs> right. the person. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, it's just it kind of like, like. But at this, I point, mean, I did care about it. But like, I just. Didn't care about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So I feel like you've waited, you know, this long. You're 22. Honestly, most, let's keep it real, most people are losing their virginity at like 15, 16. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you've waited this long. At least find somebody that cares about you. I'm not saying you got to necessarily be in a relationship, but find somebody that cares about your well-being. You don't want to just do it and then regret it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Agree. Period. Yeah. Okay, so before we close this bitch out, Callie, let us know what you working on, what you got out, where they can catch you, your Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, I got birthday bash coming up this weekend. Um, Rolling Loud, a bunch of shows. My birthday coming up, more yes. visuals, um, just more music. I'm, I'm about to keep this. I'm about to fuck this one up. Yes, we real ready. Bad. Hey, real right. bad. Well, I'm about to fuck this one up real, 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 real So bad. you got some, some, some stuff coming for us, like. Yeah, it's all on, I'll be posting snippets and stuff on my Instagram, which is Kelly's K A A K A L I I I. Got you. And that's on everything. Got you. Okay. Yeah. So we can find her on Instagram, dropping fire music. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. This Y'all was fun. Yes, right. yes we love right when the girls come through. I swear, like, people like when we have men on the show because we can get a different perspective. Yeah. But this show is always based off of, like, girl talk. Right. We love 
having a good time. Girl talk is always the best. Time. It's really always the, this is very therapeutic yeah. for me. All right, y'all know we always close it out with a song. And honestly, uh, we on tour right now, so make sure y'all go to poorminds.com and get y'all motherfucking tickets. We are still adding dates. When I tell y'all, y'all do not a poor mind. If you ain't never been to a poor mind show, you never been to a show. It's yeah. lit. It's so fucking fire. So if, don't miss out. Go to poorminds.com. Check all the cities that we going to. Y'all ready? Okay, so first of all, let me just say this. Y'all know I really sing, because sometimes when I sing on the show, they be like, damn, I thought Beyonce was on the show. They um, say that for real? Yeah. Uh, I'm just a little horse today. <clears throat> I'm a little horse no, today, man. so. Uh, <laughs> Dre, are you going to kick it off, though? Can you kick it off for Wait, us Wait, no, you're the singer. I am, but you hear, you got to push through. <laughs> I'm a child. Beyonce will push through. <clears throat> you need to get a feet, don't wanna the me the right way, he ain't gonna And ain't really that is what he Where he wanna be Yeah New Keisha Yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want oh, no, your man Cause I got it like that But it ain't even gotta be like that <laughs> <laughs> Yo man, he be calling me back He yes. got a line in a matter of fact <laughs> 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 He asked me how I do that, that fit my jeans over baby fat. <laughs> I don't know that type of tricks he playing, but I should warn you, I don't want your man. I understand. I oh. want to yeah. make him stay that night. But if he want, he'll be gone, no lie. I can't explain how many times I try, how many times I cry. Think about modern where he might be. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I just want to sing, I just want to sing Missy Park. Sing it. When the song come on in the club, they going to be like, damn, that's hot. Hey. When they play it in the car, they going to drop they tops like, damn, that's hot. Hey. They going to mix it with a big, it was all a dream. Like, damn, that's hot. Hey. Me and Keisha won't stop till the tick don't stop. Like, damn, that's hot. First of all, that was a lot. I love that. Hey, hold on. I, Giving Missy her props because y'all gonna stop playing with her producer. Like, she Period. is a producer. Yeah. Like, Missy, I love you. Mm -hmm. I just went to her birthday party. Oh One my of God, the was it lit? Mm -hmm. How is she in person? She's sweet. Yeah. I love Missy. It just gave, like, I'm boss, like, yes. OG energy. Like, yes. Yeah. I love Allegiant. Missy. Shout yes. out to Big Missy in the building. Shout right out to Big Callie. Song. Not the little one. Not the plain one. I love it here. And we'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye.